the internet is a vast and ever-changing landscape. It's no wonder that, as website hacking has become more common, a number of videos, websites, and even books have been written on the topic. The methods for hacking a website are constantly evolving, so it's important to stay up to date on the latest information and techniques. And if you know about hacking we all know that reconnaissance is the first step to hacking and the important step. That is what I will show you today. To help you out, we've compiled a list of three online tools we can use in our information gathering process. The first is Netcraft. Netcraft is a very popular tool and it has a user-friendly interface. It has a good dashboard and gives general detailed information about web hosting. It assesses the risk factor and the vulnerabilities of website as well. So let me open that website and show you how it's used. It's actually netcraft.com. You can directly go to your browser and just write netcraft.com. It will open the website then scroll a little bit and it will ask you to give a URL here. Okay, for example, I'm going to search for the website tesla.com. You can search for another website as well. This wouldn't be illegal, don't worry, we are just getting the general information open to public. Just wait a few seconds. So here we see the site title and the description of that website. If we go below we can find the IP address and we can see the netblock owner. And we can see the DNS admin and reverse DNS connections and reverse DNS information as well. Maybe you realize that this is a little bit detailed right now we see the hosting history. For instance, if this website is hosted on different services on different occasions, then we can see the logs. So if I go down, if I scroll down a little bit, I can see the web triggers and here is the information that would be useful for us. For example, if this website uses PHP, so if we manage to hack into this website using any of the then it will be possible for us to run PHP code on that website to have a session back in our Kali Linux. For example, we definitely know that this PHP code will be executed on that server because this server supports PHP. So there are a lot of ways to run reverse shellcodes on servers like with PHP or Python or Bash or any other scripting languages. In this case, I would have gone with PHP as the first choice. And in here I can see that this runs JavaScript on the client side. Okay, we have some client side scripting frameworks like Google Tag Manager. So we are done with this analysis. As you can see, it gives us much more information. So we can use this netcraft when we try to do reconnaissance before we go and do some pen testing. The second is who is lookup so if you search for who is lookup you will see a lot of results and i'm going to click on the first one you can try other ones as well so if we give any domain in this who is lookup it will show us some registration information regarding to that domain so let me show you what i mean let's try tesla.com and after that it will give me some information regarding tesla.com and as you can see this are some general registration information here we have the contact information. So the registration is I can gather some telephone and address information regarding this registration. And I can see the name servers. I can see some important dates and I can see some expiration dates as well. And I have this showing me the logs of the registration process. So you can gather some general information about the company. If you're trying to do a very comprehensive pen testing, I believe this would be a good starting point to gather information and take some notes. So, who is lookup is the simplest tool that you can try to gather information about a website online. So, the last one is you get signal.com. So this tool will allow us to run a reverse IP check on our website. So, what does it mean? It means that we're going to be finding other joint domain names that are hosted on the same server as our target website. So let me open it and show you how it's used. So this is yougetsignal.com, and you can directly go to your browser and just say yougetsignal.com. Then click reverse IP domain check. And it will ask you for a target website and I will give google.com one more time. So it will check to see if there are other domains on the same server as well. And as you can see, there are a lot of them. Okay, so google.com shares its server with these domains as well. So what does it mean? As I explained before, they're on the same computer. So if we manage to hack one of these, it is possible that we can hack into the others as well. Of course, it is possible that they have some implementations of security in their system blocking this browsing from one website to another within the same hosting within the same computer, but it's worth giving a shot because if you cannot find any vulnerabilities on google.com, 
Maybe you can find other vulnerabilities on one of these websites. So it makes sense for a hacker to try and find some vulnerability in one of these websites and hack into those and then try to make his or her way up to google.com using the same server because they are located in the same computer eventually. And of course, the big websites, the corporation websites, do not share any servers because of this. Okay, so you have to make your website safe, but also you have to make your servers safe as well. And you cannot be certain of your security if you share some domains on the same server. You get signal.com is not the only tool that we can gather this information. There are a lot of free tools supplying that information to us. Now we finished our video and keep in your mind it's important to gather information to hack anything. And thank you for watching this video see you soon.